Hey guys, got level here, and today we're building our own stream decks. And a big disclaimer here is that this video is meant for entertainment purposes, but also the stream deck is an amazing product and none of what I made today was meant to actually replace a stream deck. It's just a fun project that I had in my head and I wouldn't be able to sleep if I didn't make it. So I made it and here's how I made it basically. <laughs> so last time I made a project using my 3D printer, I had so many comments saying, I don't have a 3D printer, I can't do this. So this time for the stream deck design, I came up with a 3D printed design, of course, but I also made one out of cardboard. Okay, so the first thing I had to do is come up with an idea. I had to draw the basic shapes, take the measurements of my phone because that is what I was going to be using. I was going to be using the, the app Touch Portal to use as a stream deck. So I went online and I found a phone stand from Thingiverse, from user uh, Kazsoft. And I wanted to base my design off of that, basically. So basic shape that would hold my phone. And then all I had to do is build some sort of frame that would outline the buttons of the app. It took me two hours to design <laughs> the total thing, but I was kind of improvising on the spot, even though I had the basic idea. I also had to adjust so many things and had a bunch of ideas while doing it. So after designing it, I started 3D printing it. I had the base and uh, the frame, basically. So very simple. I would have to hot glue them uh, later on. I printed a super fast so I wouldn't have to uh, spend a lot of uh, filament. And then while the project was printing, I decided to start cutting uh, the cardboard and coming up with a different design, but not so different uh, with the cardboard. So I used the first, uh, the base 3D part, um, the phone holder basically, to kind of measure and see how I want it to, to fit. So as you can see, the frame fits perfectly, but when you put, once I put it on the stand, it didn't fit perfectly. I had forgotten a part of it, so I had to remodel it in order to hold the phone a little bit higher. Otherwise, uh, the buttons were not aligned. So I had to reprint that again. <laughs> And uh, while I was doing that, I was making sure that I wasn't going to do the same mistake with the cardboard. So I traced it and then I measured it again and I had to draw a different shape for the frame. So this is how I kind of um, compensated for that, that mistake. I had a different frame for the cardboard basically. That was so hard to, to cut the... I hate working with cardboard. <laughs> Having a 3D printer is so amazing. Okay, so even when I reprinted the frame, there was still a slight delay, but that was fine because I could just uh, glue it a little higher so it would fit perfectly. Uh, cardboard uh, had no problems, except the phone is leaning back a little, but I just glued a little piece to the back to, to kind of counteract this. To be fair, those are not things that I'm actually going to use, but I could, I could, but I don't use a, a stream deck. I don't use um, all the DIYs. This is my third DIY stream deck, I guess. And there it is.
that final pro that final look i i really love it because uh just a little bit of um spray paint basically black matte spray paint and there you go even the cardboard one looks good look at that And there it is. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though I know those types of maker videos don't usually get as much, uh, like as many views as the rest of like basic Streamlabs uh, tips videos, but I enjoy making them. So, so okay, social media will be up there. I have other videos on how to make actual alternatives to uh, the Stream Deck. I have two videos. I have one with five different alternatives and I have another one on uh, Touch Portal where you can, which is what I used during this whole thing. Also keep an eye on my Twitch channel because I will be giving away uh, copies, 10 copies of uh, Touch Portal Premium basically. I will give you guys 10 keys to get the full paid version of Touch Portal on my Twitch live stream. So keep an eye out for that. And that's it. Uh, appropriate links will be in the description. So check them out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much once again for watching. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level. Out. <laughs>